They say sometimes one discovery can change the course of a nation, and in the mountains of Mindanao in the southern Philippines, something has been found that could shift not only the future of the Philippines, but the balance of power across the entire world. Geologists drilling deep into the Daguma mountain range have uncovered what experts are calling the largest and most accessible rare earth deposits ever discovered. A find so massive that it has sent shockwaves through global markets and raised the eyebrows of leaders from Washington to Beijing. And by the end of this story, you will understand why the world is suddenly staring at Mindanao and asking what happens next. Rare earth elements may not be words people use every day, but they are hidden inside almost everything we depend on. The magnets in smartphones, the batteries in electric cars, the turbines that spin to make wind energy, the MRI machines in hospitals, the lasers, the drones, even the fighter jets that guard national skies, all of them rely on these 17 metals with names like neodymium, dysprosium, terbium, and yttrium. Without them, modern life as we know it would stall. And until now, more than 80% of the world's supply has been under the control of a single country, China, giving Beijing enormous leverage over global technology and industry. But Mindanao's discovery changes the game. It's not just a new player entering the field, it's a complete rewriting of the rules. The story of how this was discovered sounds almost like a movie. For two years, a team of scientists from the University of the Philippines worked with international partners surveying the Daguma Range. At first, they found only traces of copper and gold the kind of results that would normally make a project shut down. Funding was running out, the clock was ticking, and then on their final attempt drilling more than 800 meters down, they hit a new rock formation. Core samples came up glowing with unprecedented concentrations of rare earth elements. The lab reports stunned the researchers. This was no ordinary deposit. This was the jackpot. Heavy, rare earths like dysprosium and terbium appeared in concentrations far higher than normal. And better yet, the ore was unusually accessible and easier to process compared to deposits in other countries. It wasn't just large, it was practical. And that's why the world immediately paid attention. The news leaked, and within hours, commodity markets shook. Prices moved violently. Technology companies scrambled, and governments began calling Manila. For decades, everyone had been searching for an alternative to China's monopoly, and suddenly the Philippines had leapfrogged years of exploration and negotiation with one incredible discovery. Mindanao was now holding the keys to the future. To understand why this matters so much, you have to look at the timing. The world is racing toward green energy. Electric cars are replacing gasoline. Wind and solar are expanding faster than ever, and demand for rare earths is projected to double or even triple within the next decade. At the same time, global tensions are rising. Trade wars and rivalries are shaking old supply chains. Countries are desperate to secure stable sources of the materials that will drive the 21st century economy. And right when the world needed it most, Mindanao has delivered a solution. But this is not just about global markets. This is about the people of Mindanao and the Philippines. For generations, Mindanao has carried a reputation for conflict, poverty, and underdevelopment. While other parts of the Philippines grew faster, Mindanao often struggled. Now that could change. This discovery could generate trillions in revenue over time, create thousands of high-paying jobs, and finally bring infrastructure, schools, and hospitals to places that have been forgotten. For the people of Mindanao, this could be the chance for a new story, a story of prosperity, pride, and opportunity. Yet, with opportunity comes danger. Rare earth mining is not easy. It can scar landscapes, pollute rivers, and displace communities if not managed carefully. And Mindanao is not just rocks and minerals. It is home to rich biodiversity, to indigenous peoples with deep ties to the land, and to communities that have lived in harmony with nature for centuries. The principle of free, prior, and informed consent is non-negotiable. If this wealth is to truly benefit the nation, it must be developed responsibly, with transparency, accountability, and respect. Civil society and local voices must be partners, not bystanders, 
because the true measure of success is not how much ore is extracted, but how many lives are uplifted without leaving scars behind. The world knows this too, and that's why every major power is now courting Manila. The United States offers investment, security, and cutting-edge technology to help build a domestic processing industry. China promises speed, experience, and enormous capital. Japan and the European Union emphasize sustainability, capacity building, and long-term partnerships. Suddenly, the Philippines is in the driver's seat, holding leverage it has never had before. For the first time, Manila can set terms instead of simply accepting them. It can demand technology transfer, environmental safeguards, and local equity in exchange for access. The diplomatic competition is fierce, but so is the opportunity. And the world is watching every move. But history gives a warning. Resource wealth can be a blessing or a curse. Countries like Venezuela and Congo discovered riches that turned into ruin, corruption, weakened governance and economic instability are the traps of the so-called resource curse. If the Philippines is not careful, Mindanao's discovery could divide communities, fuel conflict, or distort the economy. Prosperity is not automatic. It requires unity, vision, and strong institutions. Transparency and accountability are essential because this discovery belongs to all Filipinos, not just the few who sit in power. The solution is bold, but clear. Establish a sovereign wealth fund that is transparent, independent, and focused on long-term national benefit. Invest heavily in education, especially science, technology, engineering, and math, so that a new generation of Filipinos can move up the value chain and not just dig rocks out of the ground, process and manufacture at home instead of simply exporting raw ore. Give equity stakes to local communities, especially indigenous peoples, so they share directly in the profits and create an environmental trust fund to rehabilitate land and monitor impacts. These are the choices that can transform a geological jackpot into a national renaissance, and make no mistake, the stakes are enormous. Rare earths are the invisible foundation of our modern lives. Without neodymium magnets, electric cars cannot run. Without europium and yttrium, our screens stay dark. Without terbium and dysprosium, wind turbines cannot spin. The green energy transition the world depends on cannot happen without these elements. That means Mindanao's discovery is not just about Filipino prosperity, it's about the future of the planet. Cleaner energy, advanced technology, and security itself may hinge on how the Philippines handles this moment. The weight of history now rests on these islands. Already, analysts are calling this a geopolitical earthquake. For decades, China's monopoly on rare earths gave it silent power over industries worldwide. Now, with Mindanao in play, a parallel supply chain outside Beijing's control can emerge. That means the United States, Japan, South Korea, and Europe can build secure alternatives. Defense contractors can source critical materials without fear of embargo, and technology companies can innovate with confidence. The global map of power is being redrawn, and Manila is suddenly a cornerstone in a new Indo-Pacific alignment. This is the leverage of resources, and the Philippines has never had such leverage before. But leverage is only valuable if used wisely. If Manila plays its cards with vision, it can demand partnerships on Filipino terms. If it falters, corruption and foreign exploitation will once again write the story. This is why leadership matters. This is why institutions matter. This is why the people of the Philippines must hold their leaders accountable, because this moment may not come again. Think about what this means for the children of Mindanao. Imagine schools fully funded, hospitals equipped with modern technology, roads connecting villages that have been isolated for generations, jobs that allow families to thrive without leaving home. This is the vision within reach, but it requires discipline, planning, and courage. If managed well, the discovery can heal old wounds, bridge divides, and give Mindanao the prosperity it has long deserved. But if mishandled, it could deepen inequalities and fuel unrest. The choice is in the hands of today's leaders. The world will not wait. Offers are already on the table. Investors are ready. Governments are lobbying. Corporations are circling. 
And yet the true power lies not in rushing, but in choosing wisely, because the wealth beneath Mindanao is not going anywhere. The ore will not vanish if it is not mined tomorrow. What matters is building the framework that ensures when it is mined, it benefits all Filipinos, and not just a few. The Philippines has the rare chance to rewrite its story from being seen as a small player to becoming a central power in the future of technology and energy, but only if it takes its time to build trust, capacity, and fairness. So as the world watches Mindanao, the question is not just how much is there, the question is what will the Philippines do with it? Will it follow the path of nations cursed by resource wealth or will it rise as a model of responsible development? Will it let corruption and short-term gain dictate? Or will it choose transparency and long-term vision? Will it export raw materials or build industries that give Filipinos lasting prosperity? The decisions made now will echo for generations. They will shape not only the destiny of Mindanao, but the role of the Philippines in the world. The story is still unfolding. The discovery is real. The wealth is massive. The opportunities are enormous. And the risks are just as great. But one thing is certain. The eyes of the world are on Mindanao. And the next chapter of the Philippines begins here. Beneath the mountains where geologists struck something more than ore. They struck a chance at transformation. And what happens next will determine whether this is remembered as a blessing or a curse. Whether it fuels a new future or repeats old mistakes. The future is in Filipino hands. And the world is waiting to see what they will choose.